Did you know that dead and dying trees play an important role in forest ecosystems? So much so that they're called wildlife trees. Wildlife trees provide habitat for a variety of organisms throughout the different stages of their decomposition, from standing snags to soft woody debris. Here is an example of a wildlife tree. If you look up at the top of this tree, it looks like it snapped off and now it's an exposed snag, which provides great habitat for birds to nest and to perch. And you can also see there's some woodpecker holes. So this tree has provided habitat for woodpeckers, for their homes and for their food. So if you look closely, on the wood, you can see that there's evidence of insects with these little holes and these squiggly lines which show that insects have been using this wood as habitat for themselves and they also provide food for birds and other animals. By looking at the bark, we can tell that this is a cedar tree. This bark provides habitat for bats. So if we look up where the bark is peeling off of the trunk of the tree, Bats will actually use that space between the bark and the tree as habitat to rest and to have a little nap. So here's another example of a wildlife tree and this one is supporting fungus like this here. This is a bracket fungus and they love to grow right out of dead or dying trees. If you look closely, you can also see these tiny circles in a beautiful pattern and these are from sap suckers, which come and peck holes in trees to drink the sap. One way to tell that this is a wildlife tree is if you knock on the trunk. And if it sounds hollow, then it's a dead or dying tree. This wildlife tree here is much farther along in its decomposition than the other trees we've seen. So this is more of a wildlife stump. The wood is super spongy and soft, so it's really decomposing and getting those nutrients into the soil and supporting the forest ecosystem. And if you look closely, you can see signs of insects using this stump as habitat and plants as well that are growing out of it. Wildlife trees are super important to forest ecosystems and the plants and animals that call them home. Often wildlife trees are cut down because they're not as pretty as alive trees and because they can be hazardous if they fall over. But they are so, so important to nature. So if you have the opportunity to have a wildlife tree on your property or in your local park, let's try to keep those wildlife trees standing to support nature.